all right what's up guys so i wanted to make a quick little guide on speculation heading into echoes of mana now the game hasn't launched yet in global it is about 55 minutes out from where we are currently uh hopefully no maintenance so with that said a lot of people have been looking at the units myself included and we're making guesses on what we think is gonna be good for those people trying to reroll, trying to get that optimal start now the main three that people are looking at are currently Reese, Angela, as well as Durand. Uh, Reese being, you know, all focused on that physical damage, Angela being focused on that magic damage, and Duran having a good amount of physical damage as well as a lot of utility and tankiness. Now, we don't know how useful all these things are going to be, and, you know, coming into the actual content of the game, it's just going to be on the environment that they're in. But we can make some guesses. Those three are kind of the big ones right now. Popoweed is a little bit interesting looking. Uh, not in a positive way, but definitely cool. However, I would say main thing, just target who you guys like. Uh, if you guys head into the game, you can already look at the actual uh, unit skills themselves. As you can see, is just... Physical damage on her special technique, and then skills, physical damage, as well as a strength boost. So that's going to allow these two to be amped up, so she kind of all synergizes into that. So definitely a unit that I'm excited to try out. Duran, physical damage, physical damage, with a constitution modifier, a uh, debuff, that he can apply to people. So kind of reduce that armor, uh, could be potentially useful. Uh, it, again, really just depends on how the game functions. But he also does have that um, self-constitution buff with uh, SA, I believe that is super armor. So could be really good for certain content. Utility is always something that's pretty good in most games. Again, really just depends on the environment. Could be amazing, could be useless. Sumo uh, has a heal, which is nice to have early game. Potentially in harder content, you might want either a dedicated healer or someone who can just pump full on in damage, right? So having this heal and kind of tank, he's a little more utility focused, but not dipping too heavy into it by the looks of it. Um, so we'll have to see how Sumo shakes out. I'm thinking he might be a nice supportive unit. Um, if you're getting carried by people, you know, bring a Sumo along so you're not just dead weight. Uh, Popoe. Uh, magic damage and int buff, which is nice. Um, also spirit buff on that uh, skill too. But special technique is physical damage, which we have to see if it scales with um, int as well. Because if it's just scaling off of strength, that it's a, probably a little bit goofy. Um, there is also their support skills, which you do have to make note of. Some of them have really good support skills, like Angela's, she was really nice. Um, and touching on her, she does have that magic damage bonus of int modifier, and then two magic damage skills. So definitely, if you're interested in Angela, Reese, Duran, they all seem amazing. Shiloh as well. Um, physical damage focus with um, the same super armor constitution thing that Duran has. Now doesn't have the um the debuff for constitution that Duran has so we'll have to see kind of how that damage amount is um you can also see the mp cost to kind of make a guess of what's going to be uh, possibly stronger heavier hitting uh, both of their skills are 30 mp so this might just be a really hard hitting skill to kind of compensate for the fact that you don't have that constitution tread now, in parties with multiple physical damage dealers, it probably will end up being that Duran has a little more utility, but early game Shiloh might be hitting a little bit harder as well. So there is a bunch of other factors to take into consideration. Their stats, their weapon type, all that jazz. Um, there's also four star memory gems. Now, some of these can be extremely useful. Um, I would go through, take a look at any of these that you can get, but definitely don't sleep on starting with some good memory gems some of these can just you know nice little 30 percent damage bonus right so definitely make note of those but look at who you like 
understand what they're going to be bringing, how they're going to kind of play out. See if you can watch some gameplay as soon as launch happens and see if that character really clicks with you because that's probably the most important factor. So I will catch you guys later. Hopefully this game will be a blast. Adios.